Diversity is a fundamental core belief uh, for me, and this was in part uh, the result of having grown up during the 1960s in my early years in the segregated South in Macon, Georgia. One of the first things I did when I arrived here on campus was to showcase the importance of diversity, inclusion, and equity, and I created a presidential commission for diversity and inclusion. I would say she's a go-getter. Um, when she first came to Stan State, she saw that we didn't have a diversity center, and within six months, boom, we had one. Where do I begin to describe Ellen? She's incredible. She's a gift to our whole community. She is by far one of the most inclusive, empathetic leaders I've ever had the good fortune to know and work with. She thinks deeply about her students and their needs. And I think Ellen's heart is huge and there's room in it for all of us. My father had three daughters, no sons, and in the Asian culture at the time that he was raised, having boys was very, very important. I remember him, even as a young child, saying, you can do anything a boy can do and better. He was highly involved with all three of us, and that contributed to us all moving on for the doctoral work, all being highly successful and strong leaders. I don't think there's a side of Ellen that's not visible because she is so authentic in her leadership. So I think what you see is what you get. And that is a beautiful thing given her remarkable responsibility that she holds in her office and in her role. And she really is um, always Ellen and always at heart thinking about what she's here to do and what she's here to accomplish. Moving into a position like a president is an incredible um, honor but it also comes with a tremendous responsibility and the possibility of opening more doors, more opportunities, and aligning resources to really help improve the condition for students, faculty, and staff. So I walk through those doors with great enthusiasm and spirit for continuing to do the great work for the greater good.